Well, with just two days to go until Eugenie's wedding, the couple have announced that they have chosen a red velvet and chocolate cake for the big day. Well, Juliet Sear is here to show you how to make yourself one. Um, and so it's, it was a recent tradition, I and mean, it was broken because it used to always be a fruit cake, yeah. but now the, the royals for their weddings are doing things a little bit more interesting, a bit different. Bit um, awesome. And what's your take on this cake? What do you think? Yeah, well, I think it's really interesting. Red velvet, I think, is a bit of a marmite. It's quite a love it or hate it, I think. Um, it's a really lovely textured cake, um, very autumnal. Um, yeah. We've had the press release, so they've said red velvet and chocolate. Mm. We're not sure whether that means two, a tier of red velvet and a chocolate, or have they... Because regularly you have um, cream cheese frosting with a red velvet. Perhaps they've gone for a chocolate ganache, so we've tried a couple oh. of combos. But the most important thing, it's about the sponge, because it's quite a... Uh... So what is the sponge made of, then? Um, so, the sponge is... It's basically a vanilla cake with a light chocolate flavour, and it's got lots of buttermilk in there and um, white vinegar, and it's very, very light and fluffy. OK. Um, so um, I'm going to show you how to make it. Oh, right. the white vinegar, because I watched Bake Off last night, and they were... Because it was a vegan week, yes. caused them all a nightmare. Yeah. It was a mare of a time they had. And they put in uh, vinegar in to, to get the bubbles to... Yeah to make it um, ah. release the carbon dioxide and get it all raising, yeah, make right. it nice and light and fluffy. Oh, OK. Yeah. So do you make it as same as a normal cake? It's a bit different and it's a little bit more delicate, I'd say. Um, so we'll go through all the steps. So on, first of all, we've got, um, we've got butter and sugar in here. Yeah. And so we're going to add um, a nice, generous slug of vanilla extract, yeah. first of all. And then we're going to use some strong red food colouring. So, you know, you get the very strong paste colour. And is that what gives it the colour? The red colour, well, yeah. vanilla smells amazing. It does, doesn't it? So we're going to put quite a generous oh. amount of red into here. Just turn this up for a second. Oh, yeah, and then you can see it, that lovely dark red colour. Yes, that's going to be the red So it's kind of reddish-brown in yeah. colour. Um, and then we're going to add eggs. We're just eggs one at a time. Mm. Get that mixed in. Um, and then once these are in, we're going to add some buttermilk and that's going to make it really nice and moist. It's a bit tangy as well. OK. Um, and also some flour, cocoa powder and salt. So, Philip, would you mind just um, combining the cocoa powder and salt into the flour mixture and just com combining all of that, that through? Here. Yeah, just to kind of distribute... So that's that sort of light chocolatey flavour, because yeah. that's what the cocoa powder exactly. gives it's you. Exactly. It's just a very light chocolate, yeah. So I'm just going to turn this off. Make sure I don't do it the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> <Back to hands. laughs> um, just give it a scrape down and we can fold the rest of it through. See, that's, that's all you need to do with the electric blender. Yeah, so that's got the eggs in there. All the um, details of this are on our app, by the way, and you've already downloaded it 100,000 times. Wow. <laughs> that's this amazing. recipe. Very popular. So I might just... Wow, that's amazing. So what we're going to do... Just going to kind of bring it together a little bit more. So we've got the eggs in there. That's kind of, you can see how nice and red it is. Yeah. It's so great the next colour. stage in the recipe is just to add the buttermilk and the flour mixture about a third at a time, um, alternately. So do you want to pop a third of that into there, first of all, and then a bit of the buttermilk. Oh, it's like Butter. yogurt. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And then you stir it. So just do that. And you has, has to be buttermilk. You can't get away with anything else. Um, I've, I always just use buttermilk, I'd rather. I think this recipe is one of the more kind of um, delicate ones. So you, you can make your own it's buttermilk. It's like yogurt. I don't think yeah, it's very really yogurty. Buttermilk. It's quite sour. Yeah, and then, it is. Um, a bit more again, of each again. Blob. You're not going to finish this, are you? You're going to go on to something else now. We're, we're making this, but you're going to say, right, here's <laughs> yeah. one I've <laughs> yeah, You are exactly. after all up. There's <laughs> no point in going any further, <laughs> is there? Do you want to finish the cake? Well, you're not going to have time. OK, let's go. I just talk about one more. I know. So much to do. The last thing to mention, just have a look at this. So if you just if you just pop the um, bicarbonate of soda into the white vinegar... You're going to use it? I'm just going to show you, because watch it all bubble up, it's really magical. I'm See, it all Oh, look at that go. See? Oh, wow. See, and then you put that into the mixture, mix it through. Right at the end? Um, yeah, once we've got all of the buttermilk, and mm. then it goes into the oven um, and bake it for 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Don't open the oven until about that time, so it's nice and risen, and then just check it's cooked through 20 to 25 and that's minutes. that's the key, don't open the oven. I don't open the oven on this one. And also, I like to do it in three layers, because it's quite light, so just kind of nice thin layers. Mm. Um, so, I'm yeah. I'm so bad at baking. <laughs> Can't I'm sure do... you're not. No, I really am. Can't follow a recipe. I just can't do it. Really? No, I get bored. I get like, oh, that'll do. Stick that in. Oh, I haven't got that. I haven't got the right size tin. I'll use that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay, what, so you what next? With? So what, what you end up is with your um, three layers of sponge. So we kind of um, generally you'd re use a cream cheese frosting, and we've also tried it with a chocolate ganache, um, and then we're going to decorate. And we've gone for all autumnal colours. So um, we've made. Um, we've just this is just like the rolling sugar paste. That's very pretty, isn't it? Your it's one really is gorgeous. pretty, and it's a really simple to do. So what we've done, we've got some ivy cutters here 
and um, they cut out the shape of the sugar, but they've also got this plunging sort of mechanism in, so you can also then press the detail. So you don't you don't have to be that skilled to do it. Just, can we give it a go? Yeah, yeah. Go, have a go. Do you have to that. powder it first? Um, I should be fine. So you should have just cut, powder it, press like into it, <laughs> and then it. yeah, powder it, and then just just sort of plunge it out like this, and you can, as you can see, you'll get the detail of the the veins on the leaves. When you push oh. the plunger onto the sugar paste, that didn't there actually get it out there, there but I'll just take mine out. That's very clever, isn't it? And that saves yeah, you lots easy. of time. And um, so you can just do them in loads of different autumnal shades. Um, and then just to make them look a little bit, little bit more realistic, we've got this food colouring dust. So if you want to have a go, so you just basically get a get a dry brush. Um, you can get these dust colours in all sorts of different shades. I just kind of rub it on there. It's a bit like eyeshadow, isn't it? Talking yeah. Powdering. It and really then is amazing what you can get now. One of the dry leaves. Or, or you can do it onto a um, fresh Could one. Could I do it on that one? Yeah, you can do it on that one. When they, I sometimes let them um, harden off a bit because they're easier to handle. And you can just brush over with any... And then do you just stick them onto the thing with so butter then, icing? Yeah, just stick them on with butter icing. So we've got a cream cheese frosting here. Um, and you can just do... The, we've kind of, again, we've looked at um, the cake maker's Instagram. We've taken inspiration from one of her designs. And just put them mm. on in a kind of cascade uh, up and down the tiers. OK. Should we and do that? Do, do you want to stick one on? I might stick eat one on. Yeah, we can. Well, I was going to say we should definitely cut into it because we've got um, both versions. We've got the um, cream cheese. Can I? Frosting. Can I? Cause should we do yeah, it, Phil? So like we're at a wedding? Here. Do you want to help me? Go What's going it. on here? That's if you're sticking on your leaves. Oh, okay. shall I go for it? Yeah, go for it. I'm just going to so stick a leaf. The top one you're cutting there, Holly, is the red oh velvet and chocolate ganache filling. Hang on, is there like a? Is there like a, a board inside? Oh right, no wonder I couldn't get through it. Underneath the. Um, Okay. So I want you to try both, actually. I will. I'm going to get so this that's one. That's the chocolate. Um, oh, God. Oh, hold it. Let me I'm hold it down. Oh, 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, there we no. go. So that's your chocolate. <laughs> well held. I'm not well held. Honest, am I? So that's your chocolate. Mind your fingers, because oh, I am out of control. Let's hold this still. <laughs> I can't get in there. I know we've had time on this I'm item. To cut the we're cake. eating cake now. We've made oh. it. There's no chance we're going to stop before we've eaten it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. So you can see the difference. You've got. There's a, so what's this one? Oh, this, this is, is your um, red velvet I with cream think cheese. It looks very Christmas. It does. With the red it? and white. Or, yeah, or the autumn theme mm. that's carried through. Oh, right, yummy. So that's the classic combo, and this is with chocolate ganache. Ooh. Can I try a bit of your chocolate? Yeah. I like a ganache. You like a ganache? I like a cream cheese. I prefer the cream cheese mm. myself. Me too. But perhaps no. they won't go with the chocolate inside, perhaps they'll just have separate taste. That is just so don't good. Know. And the sponge is really lovely. Really, really nice, moist and yummy.